Ah, so we load a bollocks lad there. Greetings, the Astro30 here with another video explaining um, some terminology. Uh, today we're going to be looking at peak versus RMS when doing power measurements on power amplifiers. Now, I had a comment on a video that I did stating that I only took the peak voltage, which was, I'll get to that in a second, uh, and didn't use the RMS voltage even though it was clearly present on my oscilloscope and I should be using the RMS value of the voltage to calculate my power output. This is true, however, I use both, and you can use both, and you have to state which one you're using. So avoid temptation to use what's RMS, because that is kind of not accepted anymore, and it became actually, from a marketing standpoint, illegal in America, or USA, to use watts RMS um, for the uh, output power of an amplifier because it was meaningless to most people. So when we say peak, we're saying continue, if I could spell, we're saying continuous power, and when we're saying RMS power, we're saying average power. Okay, but what does that mean? Well, take for example an oscilloscope trace. So there's our zero line, that's just indicating that that's the edge of the screen. And we have our audio sine wave, say one kilohertz, and we've got roughly, well, I'm just going to make a figure up here, we've got a voltage of uh, let's say, I don't know, uh, 26 volt peak to peak. So when you see P-P or PP, that means peak to peak. So that's from this point to that point. That's our peak to peak voltage. Now, when we're using the calculation, which I'll get to shortly, we'll often use the peak voltage which is either from the zero line to the peak or from the zero line to the negative peak so this is our peak voltage so if it was 26 volt peak to peak that would make it 13 volt peak now what about RMS well RMS is actually slightly lower than the peak so we can imagine our RMS line, voltage line, being an imaginary line there. However, this is not accurate and you can't just simply use the graticules on your oscilloscope to calculate the RMS voltage. Well, you can if you've got the signal set up correctly on the screen and all that, but it's, it's not accurate. So, what we can do, we know our peak voltage now, which is for our example, 13 volt peak. So now we need to know what the RMS value of that is, and the RMS value is always going to be between the zero and the peak on either the positive or the negative, not from peak to peak, so keep that in mind. So that is just an easy calculation. We can go 13 volt, might, uh, multiplied by RMS, which is 0 0.707. Don't ask me why it's that number, it just is. So if we multiply 13 by 0 .0, uh, sorry, 0 0.707, so 13 multiplied by 0 0.707, that gives us 9.1. Nine. So we're going to say 9.1, uh, 9.2. For this example, it's not 
really relevant as to being that accurate. So what did I say it was? 9.2. So that would be 9.2 volt RMS. So from 13 volt peak, the RMS value is 9.2 volt RMS. Isn't that nice? And of course you can use the same number to convert the RMS voltage back to the actual voltage. So we've got that, so we would now divide that by 0.707 and we get our original peak voltage back again of 13. Isn't that neat? Okay, so we know our two values now. We want to calculate the power output of an amplifier. Now we need to know two things. First the voltage and we also need to know what load it's going into whether it's like 8 ohm or 4 ohm. So the formula for that is power equals voltage squared uh, divided by the resistive load. So for our first one it's going to be 13 squared so that just basically means it's multiplied by itself or to the power of 2. So 13 to the power of 2 equals 169. So that's going to equal 169 divided by our load. So in this case I'm going to make our load 8 ohms so it's going to be divided by 8, divided by 8 equals 21.125, so we'll say 21, which equals 21 watt. Now, what we would then say there is we would say 21 watt peak or continuous. Okay, now, now for RMS. So again, it's the same formula, so it's going to be 9.2 to the power of 2. So 9... 0.2 to the power of 2 or squared is 84.6 which equals 84.6 now divided by our load which again is 8 you can just as easily easily use 4 depending on what load you're using so we then divide that now by our load and we see 10.5 so yeah, we'll call it 10.5 watts, which equals 10.5 watt. Do not write RMS. So why do we use the RMS value uh, rather than the peak? Well, because a speaker is not a resistive load, it is an inductive load. And sometimes it can be a capacitive load too, depending on the uh, length of cable going to the speaker. So the impedance or resistance of the speaker is going to change up and down with the um, frequency that it is trying to produce because a speaker is a rather hard load to drive. So we use the RMS value usually to uh, give it the average power because um, uh, of that um, nuance of speakers. So we can't say that, yeah, it's going to produce 21 watts and when you're actually driving it at a certain frequency at a full power, for instance, you're going to get less than 21 watts um, and vice versa, get more than 21 watts. So we use the average power so we know that the amplifier is going to be producing this wattage all the time and we just say that this is 21 watt continuous as if it was going at the same frequency into the same load, i.e. the resistance or impedance of the load was never changing. So that's the only reason that they use, but we never say what's RMS anymore, as I've already said, is because, well, it's meaningless to most people. Average makes more sense, um, and peak or continuous makes more sense than peak, um, and you'll see those figures on a lot of amplifiers. I'm not going to get into PMPO or peak music power output, which is a completely mythical measurement of nothing. So, to recap, RMS just simply means root mean square. And 
we can say that that just means basically the average of the voltage and, and I'm not going to get into the technical details uh, behind why it's called that. So when you look at the specs of amplifiers you may also see something like uh, 1.6 volt RMS for the input sensitivity, that's the amount of uh, input uh, signal you can give the amplifier for full output. That's not 1.6 volt peak to peak, that's 1.6 volt RMS and remember that's going to be lower than your actual um, uh, peak to peak voltage. So, again, we just divide that by 707, 0.707, and that will give you, I think that's going to work out to roughly 3.2 volt. Okay, so 1.6 mod, uh, divided by 0.707, yeah, yeah, I was off, it's 2.2 volt. So the actual input sensitivity of that amplifier is 2 volt peak to peak. 2 volt peak to peak. 2 volt peak to peak. And that's the voltage you would set your DDS to or signal generator to get the full output power that was specified in the specifications of that particular amplifier. I hope that's cleared it up for a few of you as to what these figures mean, how we actually get to it. I have done in other videos the calculations before to get output power, but I never actually explained um, the relationship between um, the peak voltage and the RMS voltage. The RMS voltage is derived from the peak voltage. And can anyone see my deliberate mistake? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Yes, that is incorrect. That's actually 2.2 volt peak. So that would mean 4.4 volt peak to peak. I do apologise, but I did actually catch it. Anyway, I hope that's uh, been helpful to someone. Um, I know it was just a video of me just basically ram rambling about this, but as I say, I wanted to explain the relationship between the RMS voltage and the peak voltage from the peak to peak voltage and how it's derived from that voltage, which is using this number here, the magic number, 0.707. So most oscilloscopes, especially the good um, DSOs, will actually display the RMS voltage, but if it doesn't, just remember, RMS equals V peak multiplied by 0 0.707, and that will give you your RMS voltage. Anyway, this is the Astro 30 saying, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and also uh, comment and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description as usual. Anyway, I'm the Astro 30 saying see ya. I'll see you in the next video.